Hey guys, sorry that it's dark. I just I was just looking in the camera, and as soon as I hit record, it turned dark. So, um, sorry about that. I am currently in my laundry room area, front door, and this is the laundry room area. And you can probably hear Hazel walking around. She follows me everywhere and sits at my feet, pretty much lays on them if she can. So, if you hear her little woof, that's, I apologize, I can't edit this out. <laughs> um, I'm here to do my 30 week pregnancy vlog update. I'm actually 31 weeks and one day today. Um, I was supposed to do a video last week and also on Wednesday or even yesterday, but I just forgot. Last week we were moving into our house, which we are now in. We moved in fully on Sunday. Um, we started the process on Thursday, and it just took us a while to get everything ready, to get it cleaned, and then get our stuff moved in. So, that's why I didn't make a video last week. Um, and yeah, I will probably do a house tour maybe once it gets moved in. It's it's still got boxes everywhere and stuff's not exactly where it's supposed to be. So once that's taken care of, then I'll go ahead and um, do like a little house tour. Anyway, let you know about my symptoms that I had last week and the week before. Um, lower back pain was one that if I stand too long, sit too long, if I'm doing the dishes, if I'm cooking, if I'm cleaning, if I'm breathing, my back hurts. It's just constant lower back pain all the time, um, which to be expected, you know, um, from 2007 when I was in that fender bender and then messed up my spine and my the lower part of my spine, the little tailbone area is still crooked from it. It was never fixed. I don't know if I'm even looking at the right spot. I think I've been looking down here the whole time. Apologize. I don't know my front camera very well, apparently. Anyway, since it's crooked and it's got a lot of pressure on it, it's hurting a lot more than it normally would. So that's going to be fun for labor and delivery, right? <laughs> um, the lower back pain has gotten worse. Nausea has come back. It's like my best friend lately because it's always there, constantly. Feeling fine now. I'm just feeling like super bloated and full and out of breath and hot. <laughs> Anything you can expect from someone in our third trimester. Um, uh, let's see, I think that's about it. Besides headaches, which I've had headaches for weeks now, so it's not anything new. They've just been, you know, come and go. Some days they're horrible, some days I don't even have one, which is a relief. But I just take Tylenol, or if it's really bad, I take a Flexor. Um, what other symptoms? I think pretty much that's it. Oh, my feet, my ankles have been swelling, which I didn't really have at all throughout the pregnancy, and then now, I guess maybe because it's getting hotter and I'm spending more time on my feet, because because of moving and stuff like that and getting the house ready so pardon me so my feet are swelling and that's not fun so they ache a lot more so I have to put them up a lot more um getting out of breath a lot easier obviously as you can tell if I talk too much or if I'm walking I carried my basket from my clothes basket from here to my uncle's house because it's three acres and there's a house on each like house on this side and house on that side and he has a washer and dryer which we do not so I carried my basket of clothes over there and I got really out of breath and I'd take a minute before I went and put him in the washer um so out of breath lower back pain the headaches the nausea my hands are swollen which they've been swollen for a while um I hate leaving the house without my rings on without my wedding set and then the two rings that Jordan other two rings that Jordan have bought has has bought me since we've been together um I hate leaving the house without them but sometimes I have to because they will not go on. Or I'll put them on, we'll get in the car, and then my fingers will start to like throb a little, so I have to like take them off because it hurts so bad. So then I'll just put them in my purse that way they're at least with me. Um, but it does suck. I want to get like a fake ring from Walmart just so I still have something on my finger because I feel so naked without them. I hate it. It's just, it's really weird not wearing them when I've worn them pretty much every single day for the past, you know, three years, four years for the, for the one ring. Um, Anyway, uh, I don't know if you heard that or not, though. My husband just burped in the background, so if you did hear it, I apologize. He's drinking some burr right now, so he's a little gassy. <laughs> um, I guess I can show you my belly update. I can't really think of anything else to update you guys on, except the fact that we're in our own home, finally, and I'm going to build a fence in the backyard, which I've never called it the backyard. That's the backyard, because that's, you know where the back door is, but you drive up this way. I'll do like a whole property or whatever tour. Maybe not property, because then you guys might know where I live. That wouldn't be good. Hmm. But yeah, I'll, I'm going to build a fence for the dogs, because my uncle has a dog 
who had puppies, and now she's a bitch, and she charged Hazel, which, as you know, Hazel has been in three dog fights now, which is why we moved out last Thursday, because we had her hurry up and get out of there because of their dog fight, or we tried to move out at least, um, which she now has to have surgery for, and she has to have surgery to go in and cut out all the infection that has turned into a hard ball, because the penicillin will not get rid of it, and antibiotics, which you have to pick up antibiotics for Hazel. Just thought I'd remind him real quick. Um, she has to have surgery and it's a lot of money. Hopefully we can get it um, to where we can pay half now and then make payments on the rest, which is still a lot of money, but it would help us out a lot more, you know. So that's all she's doing anyway. Um, yeah, so since she's been in dog fights, she's kind of in eh, towards other dogs her size were bigger and their dog decided to charge our dog and I was holding Hazel away because I couldn't pick her up. She was too heavy. And so, um, their dog went to bite Hazel and Jordan grabbed her by the neck, picked her up, and took her to their house. So every morning, I have to wake up, go across the property to their house, ask them to keep their dog inside, come back over, let my dogs out, and then let them back inside. I have to do that every morning, and every time I want to take them outside, I have to go over there and tell them to keep their dog inside. Because the kids, they're like six and nine, or something like that, they decide to let Rosie out that time, and she charged. So we know they can't get along, so now I'm going to build a fence. <laughs> Um, go ahead and get that out of there. You're up in the cupboard. You're sitting on top of here, leaning on this. That way you could see me, whatever. Um, I guess you get a little bit of a house tour while I'm walking around doing this, just because I have to find a place to set this down so you can see my belly. Um, I don't trust my husband to hold it just because he has very shaky hands. What was that? No, what was that? Do it again. <laughs> He's so dumb. He's getting so furry right now. Um, okay, so I'll show you my belly. Sorry, I keep looking at myself on the camera just to make sure I'm in the view, but I need to be looking at you. So sorry if it's like all over the place. And a lot of my cupboards are open. Apologize for that. I was literally going around the whole house, opening cupboards, trying to set the phone down, figuring out what would be best to set down with the best lighting so you guys could see me. And it was poop. Yeah, I couldn't find anything. So, this is what you get until I can get everything um, unpacked, situated and stuff, and find the perfect place to do my vlogs. <sighs> God, it's a lot of talking. It's making me out of breath. Alright, so, I'll set this down so you can see my belly. It's going to be very shaky, most likely. Ooh, I'll use the Windex bottle. Let's see if that works. Alright, hang on. And if you hear the dogs bark, I apologize. There's this little rat bastard outside that likes to bark at the neighbor's house. Alright. So it's 31 weeks in one day. It's so weird because my belly makes my butt look so small. And I'm like, hell yeah. I got a tiny little boot. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Hazel, move. You look weird. <laughs> looks like she's... Oh my god. Looks like I have a dog penis. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> my belly... Here's from the front. <laughs> Hazel, go away. Here's from the other side. Which it looks, I think it looks weird on this side. I don't know, I like the other side better. I'm getting mom arms or chicken arms. I don't know, maybe they've always been that fat. <laughs> Here, this is my favorite. Every time I do a, a picture, I'm always like, oh, look, belly, or oh, hey, woo, hey, hey. You know, on this side because it, it looks better. Um, looks more round ish or whatever. But yeah. That is my belly. I still don't want to show anybody with it, with this up or whatever, just because it looks gross. To me, it does. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it doesn't. But I'm not ready for that yet. <laughs> but when I am ready, you guys will know. Um, thank you for watching the video. Sorry if I rambled a lot. This went from a five-minute video to an almost ten-minute video, which I don't know how that happened. I guess I just talked too much. <laughs> Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope you stay tuned for the next video. Don't know when that will be, but hopefully it'll be soon. Alright, well, thanks, have a great day!